So it's 2017 and the average computer would have like two, four, eight gigs of RAM. Well, 10 years ago, it was more like 512, one gig, two gigs of RAM. And that makes no context whatsoever because the laptop we had 10 years ago only came with 256 megabytes of RAM. So just for, eh, let's try to run the usual stuff we need to do on our computer, like any computer should be able to handle things like web browsing and doing productivity stuff like typing and PowerPoint and stuff with mere 256 megabytes of RAM. Right now, we're going to be running Windows XP because Windows XP's minimum system requirements is only 64 megabytes with 128 megabytes um, recommended. So the best way to test this is I could launch a virtual machine running Windows XP, allocate 256 megabytes on it, and see how it goes. But that's boring. Like, it's just something special about running Windows XP on legit Windows XP hardware. Here is our 10 year old laptop that back in 2007 came with 256 megabytes of RAM. This is an Acer TravelMate 2420, but right now it is currently upgraded to 1.2 gigabytes of RAM. It's not in its best shape, but it runs anyway. And yes, you're gonna say this is gonna have hard drive bottleneck. This thing is gonna have CPU bottleneck. And guess what? Life is full of bottleneck. So this is actually the very computer that taught me a lot about computers. How to reformat them, how to deal with issues with them, how fragile they are, and really they're not really that fragile. As long as the motherboard still works, it still works. This keyboard is a goner, so I have to attach a USB one. So as you can see here, this guy is dual boot with Linux Mint 18 XFCE as well as Windows XP Home Edition. Comment down below if you actually want me to test this with Lubuntu. As you can see, I don't have much running. I mean, I have an antivirus, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it's Windows XP, security updates already ended three years ago and if i right click this thing and as you can see this thing shows existing ram use because so anyway this applet shows the top 10 ram using stuff in this computer this thing is already using 450 megabytes of ram idle but before i step it down to 256 megs of ram oh we're gonna have to do a bit of trimming because we have to drop that ram use so it would actually fit 256 megabytes of ram which means drastic measures doing everything without actually causing windows to crap out uh, i could only get it as low as this 286 megabytes of ram
disclosure, I have tried doing this without removing the antivirus, without stripping Windows XP down to its bare minimum. And it was completely unusable. Though surprisingly, Windows XP right now is using 94 megabytes of RAM. Nah, this is just, really all of this is just for fun. Realistically, you would run with at least one gig of RAM, even for Windows XP. I mean, the browser used up so much RAM, like 100 megabytes with one tab. So comment down below if you want to have me retest this, but with Lubuntu 16. So likers gotta like, haters gonna hate, subscribe if you don't miss any of my future videos, and uh, thank you for watching.